Cage Conflict, 63 kg catchweight bout. Shannon Bannon is in the black, taking on Kerry and Vernon, who is in the black, red, grey, and white. I'll get all the colours in there. Now, look, Phil Campbell calling the action. Adrian Marin is the third man in the cage. Phil, talk to me a little bit about experience of both fighters here. Well, you're talking about the 5-3 the and three MMA record of Shauna Bannon, but she's a six-time world kickboxing, sorry, a five-time kickboxing world champion, six-time European, former IMAF silver medalist, has been training since she was three or four, but carry on Vernon. Put that on, yeah, trying to put the pressure on here. She may be 0-0, but does have an extensive background. Won a gold medal at the 2018 Gay Games in Paris, so she does have hands. And another interesting wrinkle is these girls sparred about two weeks ago at the uh, All-Ireland Trials. Oh. So. Inside information could have been gained. Or maybe, you know, something happened and that sparred. It's all, yeah, let, let's do this on a main stage. Bannon just double underhooks, landing knees in Vernon. Vernon turns. Shauna Bannon. Against the cage, head position here by Vernon. You would think the experience feel would be obviously with Bannon here. Carry on, very much holding her own, and let another little bit of insider information. Derek Hickey, a, a member of SPG Cork, said Carry on Vernon is exceptionally strong. Even he struggles to take her down. Double underhooks again from Shauna. Shauna in body lock now. Looked at Reaper right leg behind. Kerry Ann's left and get a trip. Kerry Ann negates that though. Good head position by Bannon and staying calm here. Would have tasted the, the strength you spoke of of Bernan in that first exchange. And happily willing to engage here again. And Bernan look at the turn and does, but Bannon straight away and lands a, a nice knee on the reversal. And decade of, of mixed martial arts, these girls both being accomplished strikers. Most of the fights being contested in the clinch. You cannot allow Shauna Bannon time to, to gauge with yeah. those kicks at all. I'd like to see Vernon try and turn this into a little bit of a, a dirty inside phone book style fight. Or phone box style fight, rather. Separation again now, and Bannon was starting to try open the toolbox with kicks, but just out of range. And Vernon looking for the neck of Shauna Bannon here. Speaking to Shauna Bannon earlier in the week, I asked her to describe her fighting style. She said, "Fast, explosive, kicky blitz, loves a wrestle." I love the reckless yeah. abandon with which Carry On forward. is. Just Carry on throwing them hands. You could almost see Bannon was almost going to sit down on that right hand and fire back with a right, but you got to give it Vernana's game, pushing. Certainly not overwhelmed by the experience of Bannon. No, carry on Vernon, very much showing she deserves to be in there. Second round about to get underway. We just notice in between rounds that Sean Bannon just has a little graze or, or mark under that right eye, and there's a little bit of blood. On Vernon, not too sure where that's coming from, as we view now. Carry on's loading up on those punches just a little bit. Reacting a little to the kicks of Bannon there as well. So it might be some information that Bannon will use going forward. Carry on, it's as if she's just trying to find the right spot to unload that straight right down the middle. Nice movement from Carry on, but nearly a big head kick there. Fighters almost waiting to see what the other's going to throw here. and Again, that could come from the respect gained and well away together with Team Ireland. And then the body lock here is Sean Bannon. Nice knees to the inside of the left thigh. And again, as we've said with that kind of strike, it's not a fight ender by any stretch of the imagination, but it's accumulating damage. Especially with Kerry Ann being such a strong boxer to, to land those knees to the thighs. It's money in the bank. Vernon not having the success of breaking away, but it's Bannon who 
Initiates that separation. Light on that toes. Found a couple of feints and that was way off line there by Bannon. Bannon just tried to fire back with the right, but Bannon, good distance management out of the way. And you say Phil in this one, Vernon, she's not throwing as much. She's fainting a little, but she's more waiting on what Shauna Bannon's going to throw rather than push the action herself. Again, carry on exhibiting that strength, but that lead leg high kick from Bannon is a real homework over fighting style. Just throws it up, no tell. So Bannon, 19 days ago was the last time she competed with a yeah. second round TK win over Charlie Burke. So still has that fight sharpness. No ring rust, no cage rust whatsoever. Big nice right hand, almost Dan Anderson style. Leaned in and swung with the right, but Vernon. Clipped Bannon a little there, I think, but Needs Bannon throws up a nice head kick. But so far, Carrie Ann giving a very solid account of herself in her mixed martial arts debut. Transition to MMA in 2019, and if, if you look at the the repertoire of Bannon, you know, competing at in Talis and are training since she was three or four years old. This is second nature to her. Yeah. This is the fun part of all that training. The actual co uh, competing aspect and she has to be respectful. Rannon is happily still pushing forward, looking to engage. Third and final round. Shana Bannon, Kerry Ann, Vernon. You gotta feel it was more Bannon who had the output in the second round, but Fernand still game. Carry on must have been told in the corner that she needs to do something, but again, exhibiting that strength. Bannon's Bannon trying to sneak in around the back there, sorry, no. Trying to take the back. Nice knee as well. And you think, Phil, is this just down to experience? We mentioned Fernand's strength, but you know. Experience and technique will always win over just pure brute strength. Yeah, it's, it's what again that overhand has been landed three times now. Yeah, set it up nicely there with a sort of a short jab, but it was more so to disguise the right hand looping over. And, and that is a beautiful kick. side kick. Yeah, beautiful. With that overhand, I'd like to see Shauna fake the takedown and go low just like she did. Lands a head kick as well, pouring it on a little bit now. Shauna yeah. Bannon starting to feel comfortable. I think Vernon is hurt a little, she just backed off. For the first time, it was a backward step. And I think Bannon can sense that. She's ever it. The spin Just is coming. The spin. Yeah. There it is. And a big right hand again. A takedown for Bannon would be absolutely huge in the eyes of the judges. But she has been able this round especially just to pull away ever so slightly with that striking. knees by Bannon and constantly working is Shauna Bannon yeah, Kerry Ann needs to get herself off that cage and as you say it may be the relative inexperience of just resting in this position trying to stuff the head of Bannon down she gets the separation she needs to throw shots here rather than to react to what Bannon is doing she is sort of just waiting, isn't she, Phil? She's pushing forward here, but... And again, you have to take into account that this is her MMA debut. There's a definite adrenaline dump, especially on a big stage such as this. You wonder just how much that's playing a part. Gets the hands up to block, but the shots are more sort of just straight shots. There's nothing behind them. Again, that overhand seems to be the most telling shot for Sean O'Bannon. Yeah, I think you're seeing the, the relative inexperience of, of Vernon here. She was trying more like a, a schoolyard headlock as opposed to trying to dig in for an underhook, but now doing the right thing by trying to clamp down on a whizzer. Looking to land that home run right hand was Vernon on the break. Spin by Sean at the end. Coming forward, kicks and a nice right hand just landed on the buzzer. 
by Vernon. Probably her most successful shot in the last two rounds. We're going to go to your judges' scorecards. But a competitive fight. 